Okay, this is the new elliptical that uh, we bought at Dick's. And um, this is the Soul E20. I'm assuming you say that, pronounce that Soul and not Soleil or no, something. Soul. Soul. Soul Fitness. I've never heard of Soul Fitness. And this box you have to cut all the way around the bottom uh, with a box cutter because uh, Kevin believes it's pretty much already assembled. A lot of it. I'm hoping it is. Paper cuts don't hurt and bleed. Yeah, that's his paper cut. It's pretty I'm bad. Too. Okay, so we removed. I had to help him pick the lid up off the box. And this is how it looks. Um, it uh, is interesting, to say the least. But a lot of this looks like, like packing... A lot of that is packaging. And then we have this huge box, which any child, you could turn that over upside down and put a door in that and make that a little clubhouse. You know what? That would be a cool clubhouse. Are you okay? Yeah, I need a band-aid, but I should be taking a I'm just gonna basically start unpacking the box, putting it over on the bed to where I can get to it, and then, um you find the instructions somewhere in here and uh, and maybe read them a little bit before I start uh, actually putting it together. You probably blocked the pug in. Do you realize that? <laughs> the pug, um, yeah. He, he, never, took it down. he doesn't get off on this side of the bed. Yeah, he doesn't and, know how to use the steps. Yeah, the <laughs> steps. He only knows how to go up. He's never been down the steps in his life. He has no clue that you can go down the steps, too. Look. Down the steps. Yeah, I tried that. It scared him. So, anyway, uh, there's all the pieces. And here is there's the... There's a box of screws, so I'm assuming that's where the instructions and so, do you think this is going to be more or less than before? It looks like it's going to be the same amount, honestly. It's about the same. You still put the arms in. You put the uh, pedals on. You put the upright mast in. Uh, my thing is, I hope the mast... This mast bolts straight down, it looks like. Yeah, this mast that comes up is going to bolt straight down. I don't think you're going to get as much squeakiness from it like you do in the other one because the other one went like like this and you're you're constantly pushing back and forth on it and you work those screws loose i don't think this one i mean think about how much pressure you have to have to pull bolts literally pull bolts loose i mean separate them it's not just twisting them back and forth it's actually pulling up on them so this should be much more a, a better design you know you get what you pay for when you pay more money you expect it to be a little nicer so Need some foam. Put that on the yeah, that's my, I'm assuming that's the assembly direction. Hey, this one plugs in. You know, I never even thought about that. Does it plug in and take batteries or whatever? Assembly step one. Okay, just put that together and you're done. <laughs> Literally. Here's 50 steps. Here's 50 things to stick on. That is how it looks. Yeah. No, but a lot of those are bolts and stuff like that. So, so it's not too bad. It doesn't look too awful. That they it looks like they give you. Um, that's pretty neat. They give you. Look, they step one. These are all the screws you're going to use in step one. That's what we wanted. Step with two. The other step three. One. Step four. Yeah. So that's pretty nice. And they give you all the tools. I bet you that screwdriver is about the cheapest screwdriver you can possibly get. So I'll probably use my own. But um, that's nice. Wrenches and all that stuff. Yeah. So you don't have to have your own tools if you right. don't want to. Because so. if you're a bachelor and you don't have that stuff, then that's. They give you a water bottle. Oh, cool. With their name on it. That's cool. Yeah, that's nice. Grease. The ever popular grease. Yeah, and there's the plug to plug it in. So this will actually plug in. And it's got, um, looks like a headphone jack for, I think you can put your, M your MP3 player and stuff will play through it. Um, and things like that. So, so I'm just going to get started taking plastic, parts out of plastic is all I did. I should have said this at the beginning when I first showed that he brought the box in. 
This was $847.99. So $848. Uh, that was at Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, so we paid double at Dick's what we have at Walmart, but like Kevin said, you get what you pay for. So hopefully, uh, uh, you know, we chose an elliptical that will last me more than a year. Pre-assembly instructions, step one. Using a razor knife or box cutter, cut the outside bottom edge of the box along the dotted line, lift the box over the unit, and unpack. Well, counting on this book was in the box, uh, buried uh, <laughs> underneath other stuff. I don't know where I would have read that. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, that's pretty funny. So what do you literally have to do first? Um, I don't know. I'm going to Oh. This way a little bit. I think you can pick up on these rails. Okay, I'm going to pick this up and he's going to slide the bottom in down here. Actually, Ashley and I both had to hold that up. For some reason, that end was a lot heavier than, uh, than the big end. <laughs> Which doesn't make sense, does it? I'm now wondering if whatever's in here isn't like, if it's like, I don't know, a motor or something. The flywheel might be back here or something. Well, it's very, know. very heavy. I think you're just waiting. Uh, yeah, you and Andrew were carrying it in the house. Wasn't very easy, was it? That yeah, was awful. Um, okay, that's what we're trying to do. Okay, the next step is to... Uh, Tie this cable <laughs> to this to this wire. And it goes up through there. You want me to hold it? Yeah. I took the uh, the like foam off the end of it and it it's a little easier, but it's still getting stuck somewhere. Right? For these, just in case you can't see, you got the bolt, you got the split washer, and you got the flat washer, and then you just tighten it up. Look how much heavier these screws are, isn't it? I know, I, I thought about that. I noticed that. Okay, the next thing is the console. goes in red. Small white one. These are your pulse um, handles. I'm not sure what the this wide one down here does not have a um, does not have a plug that goes to it. So they didn't mention it anyway, so I'm wondering if it's some kind of diagnostic thing or Tuck all this in here. I'm gonna look before I screw it in just to make sure I didn't miss a cable somewhere. I don't think I did, but I want to make sure before I screw it all in there. Didn't miss anything. Those were the two, the red and white, and the bigger white connector was the only ones on there. So I'm okay. And there's just four. Phillips screws back here. Uh, one thing that's different about this one and the other two gold gems ones we had, 
you notice there's no battery compartment on the back of this one? That's because it's not battery powered. This one actually plugs in. It has a, um, um, there's a plug, I think it's right here. Yeah, there's a plug down here on the bottom next to the floor. That will actually plug into the outlet and um, it's actually a powered um, thing. You don't have to deal with batteries. The lower swing arm, and it had a little plastic, uh, like a tab in there, so I just cut it off. And then I've got a, a, the hex head screw, and the bolt, and a uh, washer. I was talking about. So I just, I'm guessing it's holding in these little plastic, um, silicone plastic bushings, whatever they are. So I just, you just cut them off. And it just, take your little foam piece off and slide it around. And the right goes on the right, the left goes on the left. R is your right. <laughs> I'm not going to make that mistake again. All right, the next step, we're going to put these lower swing arms, attach them to this and to this part right there. So I'm going to get Tammy to cut that wire tie over there. Okay. So we just cut the wire ties on both of those. Again, I think those are just to hold these little green uh, things in there, so it's fine. Uh, these, the lower swing arms, have these bolts already in there and we actually did the other side just to make sure we knew how it went together before we did it um, one thing that you'll if you look on here they have a flat notch on the top and the bottom they fit in the flat notches on this so you kind of have to put it in there and get lined up and tap it in place I just use the wrench to tap it in place but um, that was the fun part was getting it to kind of go in there so and they do have a little bit of oil on them not bad just a little bit so we're going to take, uh, take that piece of foam off there. Remember, they hold that green thing in on the other side. There you go. It's not sticking out far enough to get a screw on there. No, you stick a bolt in there oh. inside of it. So I have a bolt and a washer. And these are the round uh, Allen wrench type bolts. There we go. It slides in, it's pretty dark over here, but it slides in like this and this, the pin goes through from the inside. And this is the part where you gotta line it up. So if you line up the flat spots to the flat spots, and then tap it. Sometimes they go in, and sometimes you gotta beat on them a little bit more. And basically when you get it in here to where you don't see any more of that green, and it's flat on this side, then you're ready to go and you can tighten everything up. Okay, and then uh, I'm gonna get an Allen wrench and tighten the other one up. This one took me a minute to figure out. There is, uh, the picture looks really strange, but it's got a bolt with a curved washer. This it's, is the arm. Yeah, this is the upper arm that you hold on to when you're exercising. So you put this one through here and you gotta kind of fight with it a little bit to line it all up. But get it to come out the other side at some point in time. That's a bolt with a curved washer. Yeah. There we go. And then you take the other curved washer and you put it against that side. And then you take the bolt or the nut and you tighten it up on right there. Because they gave you four curved washers and six bolts. And I was thinking, how, I just don't understand how it goes on there. That's how it goes on there. And then there's two other bolts that don't have curved washers. 
they're going to go in from the back like this and get the nuts on the other side with no washers at all. It's just, just those. And you have to use a wrench to tighten them up any further than that. So I'm going to attach the other one the same way. Okay, I've got them just uh, hand tight right now. So which one this uses? That one. And then I'm going to tighten it up. You have to make sure, if you've never used uh, this method, you have to hold this one still and kind of push down a little bit while pulling up on that one to get rid of really good and tight. And you do the same thing on these. These are the, the handle arms. There's uh, two sheet metal screws which are these pointy the pointy ended screws not the round screws they have the other screws in step four that are not pointed on the end so and i hate to keep comparing this to previous ones i've put together but just the idea of having screws holding these together instead of snapping them on like uh like the other ones did i like the idea of these better It helps to have somebody to hold, hold some of these pieces on for you while you're putting it together. This one's actually marked left and this one's marked with an R, so right. So. And then these are the pointy sheet metal screws. Wheel covers, and they don't say left and right on it anywhere that I can find, but you can take them and put them over the wheel. Like this one doesn't fit. This, there's what bolts on, it's on the wrong side, you can see. So it actually goes. It goes right here. And yeah, regular screws, not the pointy ones, because you shouldn't have any more pointy ones left, honestly. And then it just keeps you from pinching your finger off in the wheel. And you just put the other side on the same way. Last piece is this bar that goes on the back. Um, it just snaps on the other direction. Yeah, it's just got these little plastic things that just go down inside there. So. And it's ready. Uh, it just needs to be plugged in. In the elliptical, and it plugs in. I'll try to show you. Way back here. It plugs in. You're going to be upside down. Way down here on the front. I know this is upside down. That's okay. Tammy on the new elliptical and uh, she said that it feels like she's getting a little bit more of a workout this time than she did on the other one. Um, she also said she felt a little higher up in the air which it is it is a little higher up in the air but it sounds so much smoother and I'm not on it but it sounds so much better than the other one did. I mean it sounds like it's a sturdier piece of equipment. Uh, one of the neat things about this it's not really inclined right now a whole lot but these metal rails right here they will actually go up in the air like the point um right there that will actually raise up to where that that um, wheel is going up and down at an angle and it makes your knees go higher up so instead of being like like just a regular gait like she has right now you really pull your knees up and it makes you work your legs out a little bit more that pulse we don't think's right though
Yeah, because it's supposed to, this machine's supposed to be able to attach to a heart rate monitor, the chest monitor, uh, but we don't know if it's actually doing it because the heart rate she had on her heart rate monitor on her wrist was was lower than that, wasn't it? Oh yeah, a lot lower. So, uh, but so now the calories, the calories, it's saying 75 now, and mine's only at 59. Yeah. So I still want to wear my heart rate monitor because I trust it more than I do the machine. Yeah. Because anyway. it's keeping track of my actual heart rate. Yeah.